Good morning. So, um, the Lord has been bringing up a topic lately with me that's been, I'm not going to lie, it's been uncomfortable, um, just because I know how easy it is. Okay, God just, he just wants me to get straight to the point. God said he ain't ordaining no waste your time project. He is not ordaining a waste your time project. What's a waste your time project? A waste your time project is dating a waste your time project. Someone who is flirting with every single girl who comes around when you're not around, boo. A girl who's only dating you because she's just trying to get closer to your best friend, bro. That's a waste your time project. God does not wait. He does not want you to waste your time. He says, if you follow me, I will give you things that you want in half the time that you can do on your own. He wants to give you your wife. He wants to give you your husband. He wants to give you that job. He wants to give you your dream job. He wants to give you a promotion. He wants to give you that house with the backyard, with the fenced in backyard, with the hardwood floors and the marble countertops. He wants to give you these things, but he's just like, how can I give them to you if you're not even spending time with me and seeking me so that I can lead you to it? Y'all over here and you're like, man, I really want love. He's like, I know you do it. I'm trying to give you that. But you want to waste your time with, with Jody. Jody's acting single every time you're not around him. I mean, I don't... I know girls know I'm not lying, but it's been so many boys, men, uh, fiancés, husbands, boyfriends that have personally flirted with me, acted single, and I'm... It really, it, it, I'm still confused. I'm still confused. And like I said, girls know I'm not lying because it, it, it happens. You got these grown men, these little boys out here acting single. And you got these little girls out here acting single. And you, you, you just be like, wait, is it in the water? Is it in the water? If your boyfriend ain't flirting with me, he's flirting with somebody else. Yeah, but you want to waste your time project. You don't want a husband. You want a 10-year boyfriend. What is that? Where is boyfriend in the Bible? God's trying to ordain marriages. He said, be fruitful and multiply. He think he, he goes about doing things in a divine order. But you can't do that with your flesh. You can only do it by a spirit. So that's just some food for thought to think about. Um, like I said before, God wants the very best for you. He wants you to be fruitful in your marriage and, and your household, but he wants you to marry the right person. He doesn't want you settling down, marrying the wrong person you can't build with that you can't even help. There's there, there's literally people who are who are trying to force a yoke and they're unequally yoked. You can't even break out. You can't even help him break out what's inside of him. He got treasure inside of him. Your man, your boyfriend, your husband, he has treasure inside of him that you aren't even ordained to break out of him. You don't even have the capacity. You don't even have the, the intellect. You don't even have the anointing to break the yoke. You don't, even, you, you don't even know how to how to fast and pray for him. You don't even know how to, 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 to pray for deliverance for your husband. You haven't even made time to be trained by God yet so that he can use you. So, you know, just think about that. God bless you all. Like I said, this message was uncomfortable for me. So if it's uncomfortable for you, have a good day.